as my setup. This is where we're putting the booth. Hey guys, it's me, Kerry. My booth for voiceover is finally complete. I did a little bit of recording here and there of us putting it together. My um, dad helped me build it, he designed it, did all the blueprints for it and everything, but we were working on it so off and on that it didn't really make sense to make a full construction video of it. So it's not necessarily like a cohesive kind of walkthrough of how we built it because we made it in so many little pieces whenever we had time. And he did put a lot of it together himself while I was away or on business trips or whatever. So, but it's here, it's here now. So I wanted to take you on a tour of my voiceover booth. And I'm gonna show you uh, what it is, what it does what it looks like, and all of that. This is the outside of my booth. It just sits here in the far end of my room. There's heaps of room for it, as you can see. This is kind of like my, my living space, which is covered in dog with my TV and stuff. And so we had a big corner over there where my shelves are. I have like some just like storage and it's right next to my stream setup as well. So. It's in a good spot out of the way. This stool, Amy Smith actually did a kind of PSA on, on this stool. It was on sale, so I got it for 30 bucks. Thank you, Amy. It's literally the best thing ever for when I'm having like hip issues and stuff like that. This door is supposed to, caveat before we go in there, this is supposed to sit flush, but we didn't accommodate for the rubber having some extra space. So dad's working on getting some plates to lift the door away a little bit so that it'll sit flush um, on the wall and then have this full seal all the way through. Because right now the only way that you can hear any sound permeating through here is through this hole. But otherwise it's still, it's pretty good. So I'll, I'll take you, take you in there and let's see. <clears throat> yeah, it closes pretty well. A heckin light switch here. I escaped in here the other day because Astro was just barking all day and there was just so much noise outside that I couldn't handle it. So I put my little blanket and was playing my switch in here. So you'll notice as soon as we walk in, the sound of the air conditioner and everything kind of depletes a little bit. Astro freaks out a little bit when we come in here too. You okay, buddy? And then we can pull this closed. So here you go, here is my microphone. Uh, this is an NT1A. I just got the set for that, but I've since learned that the NT1A isn't too bad for someone with my voice type. It's from Rode, by the way. It's just kind of like the cheapest bundle you can find at JB Hi-Fi, just to kind of start off. It's been working really well. Clients have been really happy with it so far. I do have this camera here so that we can get some videos for you guys, um, which I'm going to make accessible through Patreon, some behind the scenes stuff. So keep an eye out for that. But here, I also have this little mini stream deck. Thank you so much to Elgato for sending this to me because it's literally the best thing ever. I requested a mini stream deck to have in here because I have my keyboard and mouse and stuff. I have Philips Hue lights here to illuminate if need be and also for the camera all of the audio gear so there's a usb hub for the keyboard and mouse and and stuff and anything that's usb related basically goes to this hub my headphones just for listening back i don't record with headphones on but i will put them on just to quickly listen back and see if i need to do a retake or if there's any plosives or anything like that this is the rode ai1 i think I'll have to check what the exact model number is. Yeah, it is. Rode AI1. Super simple, like single input interface for microphone and listening back and all of that stuff, which is great. But the reason that I wanted this Stream Deck so badly is because it makes it so much easier for me to do literally anything I need in here. So these lights, I can turn them on, I can turn them off with one button press, which is so sick. Then also, so I can open up OBS and I can open up Audacity with one button. Sorry, I'm like hella sweaty. It's so hot today and it gets really hot in here too. So what I like to do in here is record 
myself doing some voiceover sessions, some behind the scenes stuff for you guys to see what I do and what my process is and stuff like that. Some outtakes, bloopers, that kind of stuff. I've always loved doing that kind of content. And if I have any live directed sessions as well, it helps having like the camera and everything set up in here. Let me show you like the best thing ever for recording behind the scenes stuff with the Stream Deck. Hold on. If I hit this record button here, that's a multi-action. And what it does is it will make sure that OBS is open. It will switch to the booth cam. So you can see here, this is the booth cam. Hey, what's up? Uh, and then it will pull Audacity as the focus window. And then it will hit the record button um, in Audacity. So it will record both the audio and the video in OBS simultaneously, which is the best thing ever. And then if I stop recording, it stops recording on both of the apps. So it's just like the best thing ever. It's just one button. It's so good. I guess, um, the computer stuff as well. So this monitor, so we got this monitor on sale with Boxing Day sales. This tripod is actually a tripod that I got together with a voiceover shield that I bought online before we started construction on this bad boy. So I already had this here and we just got a mounting bracket to connect the monitor onto there. Now this monitor and all of the voiceover stuff inside the booth are all connected to this PC here. This PC is also my stream PC. So my, my gaming PC is over here. That's connected via a capture card to the stream PC. So the streaming PC is what I use for recording, streaming, all of that stuff. But all of my editing, gaming, and things like that are all done on my gaming one. So yeah, that's my, that's my setup in there. I hope you guys enjoyed this tour of my voiceover booth. So if you have any more questions about my setup or any of the programs or settings or whatever that I use, then please let me know and I'll answer your questions either in another video or just in the comments or something like that. But I thought it was kind of necessary to make because I get a lot of questions about like, what is that big box thing in your room? And what is in there and stuff? People are always really curious about it. So that's what it is. That's what's in there and that's how I use it. So that's it, that's the video. Thanks for coming and thanks for watching and I'll catch you either on stream on Mondays, Wednesdays or Fridays or in the next video here on YouTube or on my IRL channel because this one will probably go up on my gaming channel, I don't know. I have two channels, just go subscribe to both of them. Both, both of them. They're somewhere here. Thank you. I love you. Mwah. Also, Pete, my Patreon, because that should be up by the time this video goes live. P.S. The Patreon is how you get access to all of my voiceover stuff. Okay, thank you. Bye. About my setup or, um, shush, I'm talking, sir. Hi. What's up? Taking care of business.